hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me beautiful Ade here again today is going to be a vlog and you are going to love it okay so keep watching <laughs> back today is going to be a vlog like i said i'm doing a couple of things today see this is my braids eh? i've had it on for um over two months now and i just find i found another way of like styling it and um i think i'm oh sorry i think i'm liking it again i was thinking of taking it off like like loosening it but i'm just going to find a way to you know style it and i hope it looks better anyway so i want to talk about something but i need to find somewhere to keep this camera i'll be my my phone okay i just hope this is good enough anyway so yeah i said i was going to talk about something and it is this ongoing um unfortunate incidents of davido and chiama losing their only child their only son together it's quite it's quite unfortunate and nobody no parent no mother no father deserves to you know to mourn their child or to mourn their children it is just very very you know it's a it's a very very unfortunate situation however what is pissing me off so much is how a lot of people have gone about to comment under um different blogs that have actually um um you know put it on their vlogs that okay this and this happened a lot of people especially men and even some i don't know what i don't know which word to qualify it with now would i say they are ignorant women have also commented and said oh where was the mother or oh, is the mother not supposed to be responsible is this and this and this and this you know and i just it just dawned on me that the mother or the woman is always blamed for everything that happens to the child if the child falls, if the child has bruises, if the child uh, maybe was playing rough and then breaks a ham or something happens to the child, basically, it is the mother that is going to be held accountable. And I'm just asking why. Why? Because is the father not as much parent as the mother is? Because I don't know when parenting has um, been solely um, pushed towards the mother like is the mother supposed to be responsible for everything is she look at me uh, let me tell you something a woman cannot look after a child 247 it is not possible okay let me give you a scenario when you go to work when you go to your respective places of work do you do your job 247 after some time okay after say seven or eight hours they tell you that's enough for the day you can go home so you rather do like an 8 to 4, a 9 to 5, a 10 to 6, an 11 to 7, a 12 to 8, as the case may be. You cannot you cannot be in your place of work 247. So if you cannot be at your place of work 247, do not expect a mother or a parent to look after their child 247. Yes, they are, they are, their children are their sole responsibility. Yes. They have to look after their children. They have to provide for the child. They have to nurture and um, look after the child, basically. But that is why a lot of people or some people or some parents employ the help of nannies, of um, house helps, of, um, you know, different people to help them out because it is mentally exhausting, okay? So it is very, very wrong and insensitive and very unfair to say that, um, where was the mother or is, it, is the mother not supposed to be looking after a child you know those comments just i don't know i i, I just want to say that it's um it triggered me and it's, it's just very unfair again it is very unfair that they, they they lost that boy it's so unfair and even from the stories that have been going around um you know um um a lot of people have said okay the cook and the nanny somebody the nanny was of course she would have left him in care of somebody that she knows that or she believes is capable of taking care of him as much as she you know as much as she is so she's not um she's not just wandering about you know and um just um i don't know i don't know it's just very painful again okay so I don't, I, I, it's just very, again, it's very upsetting 
that people are going about to say blame the mother for everything okay so i don't know i don't know it's just very very it's just very 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 unfortunate very unfortunate another thing that instagram is doing that is also pissing me off is that the boys video is everywhere when you go into Insta instagram when you go onto the explore page when you go onto the suggested videos um line you see this boys video everywhere like is it that you are getting money from um you know um showcasing the boys video like does it even make any sense like ah it's it's i feel like that is insensitive this this family they are mourning their their child they are mourning their son and then you're going about broadcasting his videos suggesting his videos to people to watch like it doesn't make any sense see i had to take like a couple of hours a couple of days of um social media just because each time i you know click on ig i'm seeing the boys video blogs are carrying it and do you know that the parents of the child have not even come out to say this and this and this happened like i'm sure that they probably or somebody an insider has confirmed the um the story and everything but the parents have not actually come out to even like do you even expect them to even come out to say anything people, these people are grieving they are mourning so i believe that people should actually um you know um, um mourn with those that are mourning like and a lot of people are so so eager to share this news you don't share their wins you don't celebrate their wins you don't you probably do not even follow them but because you know because you know them and then this tragedy has happened to them you are so quick to go to your ig pages to go to your social media pages to share this terrible news like does it even make any sense to you like why you, you are not sharing their wins but you are sharing their bad news like nobody nobody likes to be um, nobody likes their bad news to be the headline okay nobody like well i'm even done talking about this topic it is just very upsetting anyway i'm going to do something very fun today so today i'm taking my children to the library um uh, to the children's library i feel like um children have mental health too abby i believe so like <laughs> you get what i mean like it's good for them to explore to go out to you know to mix up to socialize so that's what i'm going to be doing for the rest of the day and what what else I mean, whatever anything else that i i am um, i get up to i'm going to share or maybe in the coming days so yeah this vlog is definitely going to go up next week so you're going to be seeing this vlog next week okay right now i'm laughing. i'm just going to quickly finish off my face and my hair and then uh we're gonna get going okay
is this is not the next day this is like two days after and yeah as you saw in the previous clips like the kid had so much fun um in the library so that would be like the second time of me taking them so the, actually the first time we did like we went for like a story time anyway they had fun it was good so yeah yeah so yeah that was just all we got up to that um two days ago um i was going to talk about something and i'm just trying to remember okay yeah so if you look okay do you guys watch manifest on netflix I absolutely love that series. Oh my god, like I could sit down and watch the whole episode. Like it is so thrilling, captivating, and interesting. However, this season four has been, you know, one kind. Like I've not really been following it as much as I've not really been watching it as much as I would like I did with the other series. And just that's just because um Ben, ben Stone's wife died, so um, this is a what do they even call it? Self. This is a spoiler alert. If you've not seen it, if not seen season four yet, Ben So's wife died at the end of season three. Yeah, I actually thought maybe um, something will happen magically. You know the way it happens in Hollywood movies, like something will happen magically and maybe she will wake up or something. But unfortunately, she died, and it just mm, I'm like, oh, why did she die? Anyway, it's just a movie, okay? So yeah, that's that. Well. Is there anything I want to talk about? Talk about again? Okay, you know the other the other vlog, I talked about styling my braids, like putting it in a bun at the top, and I like I was really liking it, but that I'm not gonna be doing that anymore because that same day I went I went out and I got back home like late in the evening and my high saw shaky because of the cold. Like I couldn't put on a cap because of high how high the bun was, so I couldn't put on a cap. And it was so cold, like it was freezing cold. Like I'll put a video. I took a video of myself. Like ah, my hair is so shaky, and like and it was just like minus two, and the cold has not even started. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, anyway. So yeah, that's that's everything. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, please give this video a huge thumbs up. I will see you in my next video. And again, we are at 500. We are still at 500 and something subscribers at, at almost three years. I don't understand what is going on, but please support me, support my channel. Share my link, share the link of my um, YouTube channel to your family and friends. Please tell them to subscribe to my channel. It is absolutely free. I really, really want to hit 1,000 subscribers by, by Christmas. Please, I'm begging you, please sub subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, well, that's it. Madam, you're disturbing us. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Continue to stay safe, stay blessed, and saying God. Bye.